the topics I'm going to be talking about in today's video are going to be mainly about one, holding my trades, two, accepting the outcome of whichever outcome it's going to be, you know, if it's like a win or if it's a loss. Number three is going to be, you know, having confidence in the new system, one month trading this new system, basically the full month actually. And then, and then number four is just not being too attached to these accounts, you know, like once again, if we want to scale, we can't be too attached to the account. So that's another thing. But um, the first topic really is holding my trades. So I want to be able to hold my trades and not move my stop loss to break even. Use the 3PDOA rule and accept the risk. You know, I feel like that's very, very important um, because whenever we are in a trade, you know, I feel like I move my stop too early. I'm not using the 3PDOA rule. And then two, my bias is correct. The majority of the time, every time I take a trade, my bias is correct. But it's simply just lower time frame. Um, it's simply lower time frame you know, mistakes that I'm making, you know, being emotional, moving the stop too early, um, thinking that the, the, you know, the market is going to move in, you know, the stop loss direction, which is, again, not the type of mentality I should be having. If I want to use the 3PDA rule too, I have to be, you know, moving the 3PDA or the stop loss on those 3PDA rates on the time frame that I entered. So if I enter on the three minute, I'm not going to move my stop loss using one minute, you know, order flow or like a PDA raise. That's another thing I was thinking about earlier, you know, like whenever I entered my previous trade on the previous trade recap, I move my stop loss on that one minute my stop loss off of one minute confirmation or one one minute order flow when in reality you know if i simply held the trade and i used the stop loss of the three minute and didn't move it i would have probably won the trade you know because the bias was correct the market moved up higher it reached my target and another thing too is whenever we have a profit target we're aiming for the moon bro i swear i'm aiming at unreasonable areas when i'm trying to take profit you know like i'm aiming just to pass the account with this one trade i'm trying to hit a home run and right now, what I'm trying to do is just stop that. Stop, have reasonable areas, aim for consistency. You know, like, of course you want to hit, you know, like a nice, good trade, but you also want to be aiming for consistency with the profit target. You don't want to simply just be aiming just to pass the account with this profit target in this trade alone. Have reasonable areas to take your profit. Stop trying to aim for a home run. That's what I'm trying to do as of recently. You know, like it's very, very foolish of me to be doing that. You know, like I simply just should, should aim for taking profit at this reasonable area, this key high or this key low or at this buy side or this sell side. And same thing with the stop loss, moving it at key reasonable areas or moving it, I mean, at key reasonable levels that have been met, of course, then moving it. Okay, like we sweep this high, move the stop loss, but you gotta have the three period rule backing you up also. So that's another thing, you know, not moving it foolishly. I feel like we're moving it too emotionally when it comes to the stop loss, when it comes to the profit target, we're aiming emotionally at unreasonable areas that are not logical. We're being uh, irrational. Same thing with the stop loss. We're moving it emotionally. We're not having key, you know, decisions or key PDRAs backing up the stop loss and just reasons as to why we should move it. You know, it's just unreasonable. So yeah. And another thing is like not being too attached to the outcome of the trade idea. I feel like that's what stems the emotional um, decision making is being attached to the outcome of the trade idea. You know, like if we want to be aiming for consistency, we're going to have to be able to understand that we won't be able to win every single trade and just understand that the training opportunities will be presenting themselves throughout the whole entire, you know, week um, and year, you know, like you have to simply just be patient, follow your rules, follow your discipline, and just be attached to the idea of the input, you know, of what it takes to be a successful, prof profitable trader. And just get rid of like, you know, that bad type of mentality of where we're simply just trying to aim for the home runs or just trying to aim for the capacity account in one trade. It isn't ideal. It isn't realistic in my opinion. Um, and just be patient, be, you know, reasonable, follow your rules, follow your game plan. And that's where you should be attached to, you know, your game plan. Um, if you're following your rules, you're being disciplined, you're being patient, you're having good risk management, you're having good trade management, and you're having your psychology in check. I think that's the most important thing I should be focusing on. And that's the things I should be simply attached to. I shouldn't be attached to the outcome of this trade idea. I shouldn't be attached to the PL. I shouldn't be attached to the profit target to pass the account and to get a payout. I shouldn't be attached to any of those things because those are things that I shouldn't be attached to because in the long run, those things don't matter. Those things aren't what brings the success. What brings the success is my input. You know, that's the type of mentality I'm trying to switch from, you know, and it's very hard because my old habits, my old things are ingrained into me. My old past trading experiences of when I was losing is ingrained into my mind because I'm fearful now. I'm fearful because I took losses, but this is a new system, a new way of trading. I have to simply be able to understand that if I, you know, want to see the better results from the system, which we back tested and we saw the results. Now, if you want to implement into live trading, we're at the switch, the type of psychology we have from the old bad trading psychology or the old, you know, system we were using. We had to switch it to the new one, which is, you know, like being patient, holding the trade, not moving the stop too early, 
having reasonable take profit areas. So simple as that, you know? But like I was talking about earlier, whenever I'm reviewing my trades, I realized that majority of the time my bias is correct. You know, my bias is correct to simply just lower time frame confirmational mistakes or lower time frame, you know, trade management mistakes that I'm making. And the reason why is because I'm not being patient. I'm not letting the trade run. I'm not letting it breathe. And, you know, simply just combat that emotional desire to move the stop, to be risk free, to feel like we're, um, or just to feel like our decision or our belief or our expectation is correct. Simply just get rid of that. Stop having expectations. Stop having the belief that the market will move in my direction. I need to stop having, stop having the belief that the market will move in the direction. Stop having expectations of what the market will do whenever you enter the trade. Simply just accept whatever, you know, decision or whatever, you know, outcome the market provides or whatever, like just delivery, you know, movement it's giving you accept that you know you have to simply accept it if it comes back down to your entry point and then it moves up higher accept that if it moves straight to your profit target accept that if you face a little bit of drawdown then it goes to your profit target accept that you know there's just simply there's not um a, a trade idea or there's not you know every single trade idea is going to be the same you know every single trade you take is going to be the same no you can't think like that every market experience is going to be unique and and you just can't you can't replicate it you know you can't replicate every single trade you take so just accept whatever the market does and you just have to learn to adapt and be flexible and be able to think logically and just be reasonable as to why and what it's doing and accept the risk and accept the outcome. And that's all I'm gonna just simply have to be trying to do. That's all I'm trying to do right now and just to elevate to my trading because I realize every single thing I'm doing is correct. The only thing I'm doing wrong is managing the position incorrectly. And this is with the lowest account size too. You know, not really the lowest, it's like a 10K account. But if I realize if I want to scale to the next level, I'm going to have to learn to be able to accept these outcomes and the, you know, the, the risk with these trade ideas and just learn to be patient, learn to let the trade run. I feel like, you know, the scaling again, I want to reach six figures. I, I believe I can be able to, I'm, I, I know I'm capable of reaching six figures. I just don't know how long it's going to take. I'm aiming for the end of this year, but at this rate, I'm not going to be able to do that if I'm not able to let the trade run. I'm not able to let the you know, the trade idea play out in my favor because I'm moving the stop too early or I'm taking profit at unreasonable areas and I'm just aiming for home runs. When in reality, I should be aiming for consistency, have reasonable, logical reasons for why I should be taking profit here. And that's, you know, another thing too for the stop loss, being logical. That's the only thing I'm dealing with in my trading right now is mainly just psychological barriers I'm gonna have to get past. And I realized that early on, whenever I'm trading the system, um, you know, it's all psychological now, you know, like everything else really isn't technical. It isn't analysis, it isn't anything anymore. It's simply just learning to step away and detaching myself from the money aspect. You know, in trading, everybody comes into trading for money, but you know, at the end of the day, if you really wanna make money, you got to learn to detach yourself from the money. And that's all I'm gonna be trying to do for the rest of this year and just for the rest of my trading career, honestly, is working on my psychology. I feel like I have my system, I have, you know, so much data backing it up. I love my system. I need to have more confidence using it. I need to believe I need to believe in it more. 